Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Today I have a date and I want to look really good. So I was thinking, who is someone hot? Who is someone that I could recreate their look? Who is someone that every guy would go for? Barbie, of course. She's flawless. She's sweet yet seductive at the same time. She's highly feminine. She's the perfect girl to recreate your look. So that's what we're doing today. Barbie is blessed with flawless skin. This is what makes the difference to your whole makeup having a really good base so I want my skin to look unreal I want my skin to look plastic like and this is the perfect foundation it's the Bone to Glow foundation by NYX in the shade vanilla it's super inexpensive and looks amazing I've gotten so many compliments from strangers ladies at the stores out and about on the streets ask me what foundation do I use that makes my skin look so flawless it really it does look flawless so this is the before and check out the after oh and I'm using a beauty blender you can use your fingers a beauty blender a face brush it's whatever works best for you but I feel like the beauty blender gives me the best results and the secret method is to dab it on your skin don't do like this because you're gonna push the foundation away and cause streaks did I ruin it now instead dab it on your skin with light motions to make the foundation look like your skin don't forget to bring it down to your neck our next step is to erase any signs of dark under eye circles any signs of tiredness Barbie has a really bright under eye which I love if you know me in real life you know that I love a really bright under eye and what I always do to achieve a really bright under eye is to leave it on like that for a couple of minutes maybe two to three minutes to marinate on my skin and then I blend it in but while we're waiting let's use some liquid bronzer this is my favorite step it's super satisfying I'm putting dots on my cheeks on my jawline on my forehead and on my nose a little bit goes a long way so just on my cheeks I really want to try Rare Beauty's liquid bronzer and Rare Beauty's products in general. I only have the lip liner and lipstick duo in Humble. I love them. And then with my beauty blender, I blend everything in. This is super satisfying and makeup always calms me down. Talking to you guys also calms me down. Maybe some music would cheer me up. I haven't listened to music in a long time. I love Spotify, but I always listen to podcasts. I never listen to music. Never the past couple of months or so I should listen to some high school musical Hannah Montana I love Disney which was your favorite show mine was Hannah Montana and the Wizards of Waverly Place but I loved all of them the sweet life of Zack and Cody iconic show and of course all of the cartoons I also loved the Cartoon Network Cards the Cowardly Dog was one of my favorites Kids Next Door Ed and Eddie Powerpuff Girls Dexter everything After after my date, I'm gonna have a nice shower, crawl in my bed with some Diet Coke and watch my childhood favorites. I'd love to have some ice cream too. I have such a sweet tooth and I've been craving ice cream so much the past week. We're done with all the liquid products, so now we can move on to powder to set my makeup, to stay shine free throughout the whole date. I love the matte look for my base, for my whole face and add some shine with a highlighter, with a glitter glittery eyeshadow I don't want to look like a disco ball all over so now oh and I have these mini powder puffs which I have yet to use them they are adorable so we're gonna really brighten up our face with loose powder this is the secret to look super awake flawless it's a game changer and I'm really late to the trend I only started doing this method maybe a couple of months ago trust me just try it once I'm also going to apply on the bridge of my nose for contouring purposes to make my nose look really tiny we're gonna get into this in a bit and once again I'm gonna leave it on my skin to marinate and then remove the excess powder so Barbie has a lovely bone structure a really prominent cheekbones and a sharp jawline I'm gonna try to mimic that with my Kylie Cosmetics bronzer in the shade toasty I'm accentuating the same features as we did before with a liquid bronzer so under my 
jawline, on my cheekbones, on my forehead. And now for my favorite part, I wanna give my nose a plastic surgery. I wanna make it look really tiny and lifted. So I'm starting at the tip of my nose and then I'm squeezing the brush with my fingers and putting bronzer on the sides of my nose. Let's remove the excess powder and blush. This is the part that makes Barbie really sweet and highly feminine. Such a beautiful flash of color. It really does a huge difference to the whole look. Oh, and what about the foundation? Doesn't my skin look really good? I'm telling you, you need this. Now that we have the perfect base, let's move on to the eyes. This is a newish eyeshadow palette. It's the Forever Flawless Regal Romance by Revolution. I'm gonna start with a rose color that's called Society. All of these eyeshadows have lovely names that remind you of Bridgerton. Peach, Romance, Soft, High Society, Duke, Duchess, Lady, Queen, Courting, Husband, Wife, Floral, Sweet, Dance, Regency, Rose, Debutant. Oh, and all of the matte eyeshadows have roses on them. So, society all over. Since we're creating Barbie's look, we have to have some pink eyeshadow. I don't want to look too pink. I'm not gonna use this bright magenta shade, but it is a Barbie look. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Let's make it a summery Barbie look with pink and orange shades that remind you of sunset, that gives off vibes of a relaxing afternoon after the beach, looking over the beautiful colors of the sunset and enjoying a glass of wine or your ice cream with your hot date. I love this combination. Why have I never thought of doing it before? I'm gonna bring some more color with dance right in my crease. I haven't been on a date in a hot minute. With a small flat eyeshadow brush and the same first color, the rosy one, I'm gonna apply some underneath my bottom lashes, not all the way through, just at the outer corners. This is a step that I never skip. It makes my eyes look really big and bright. It makes a huge difference. It's called the Inner Eye Brightening Pen. It's by Essence. This is a nude eyeliner pencil. You could also use a white one but it looks harsher. It doesn't look as good. And now I'm gonna make my eyes look even brighter with the Jumbo Eye Pencil by NYX in the shade Casimir. And I'm gonna use it as a highlighter too on my nose. And these two places on the bridge of my nose are on the center and on the tip of my nose. Blend it in a bit with my fingers. It makes my nose look even more lifted. So I'm single for five and a half years years now, it's been a really long time. I'm 28 years old and I'm turning 29 in October. When I was younger, I would always do these calculations in my head that looked like this. I had to have found my partner by 25 years old, be in a relationship with them for two years, so I'd be 27 years old, then move in with him and after one or two years of living together, so 28, 29 years old, I would get engaged and then married. Well, it clearly didn't go as planned because I'm almost 29 years old and I'm single and I know it will come when I'm not looking but I'm never looking. I do try sometimes here and there and of course I'm not going to settle. I know what I want. I'm not gonna be in a relationship just so that I can be in a relationship. It's not a relationship that I'm craving. I love being by myself and honestly that scares me because now it's really hard to find someone when I'm so comfortable being by myself. I feel like the more time that has passed of you being single, the harder it is to find a partner because your standards keep getting higher and higher. You're so comfortable now being single. You're not just gonna settle. You don't care as much anymore. The other person has to be perfect, nearly perfect. Within this past five and a half years that I've been single, I've gone on dates. I've met some really interesting people, but nothing went further. So let's see how today's date is gonna go. This is my favorite lip product. It's a lip mousse. It's actually a cheek and lip mousse. I dab it on my lips. It gives you the perfect finish. And this is it. I'm all ready. Wish me luck for my date. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I'm gonna see you very soon. Bye!